Close the box, close the box, I'm getting distracted. Wait until you see what I just saw. Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel, where we are a community of collectors. This month, we received two Wizarding Trunk boxes. We received their bi-monthly subscription box, as well as their quarterly special edition box. Now, this box right here has a Mischief Makers theme. So that refers to probably the Marauders, as well as our favorite twin Mischief Makers. Now, this is the Wizarding Trunk's High Security Vault, which is their quarterly special edition subscription box. This is what their bi-monthly subscription box looks like, and it is called the Owlry. All right, but let's take a closer look at the High Security Vault. As you can see, it is a High Security Wizarding Bank Vault. It says the High Security Vault on here with some fun artwork, magical post on the side, fragile or fragile magical delivery. Now, as of right now, the Wizarding Trunk has some availability of their quarterly subscription box subscription as well as their bi-monthly subscription. They always sell out, so if you would like to join the Wizarding Trunk train, now is the time to do it. I also want to mention that the Keep Collecting box, which is a partnership between myself and the Wizarding Trunk, is still available. The restock still has some availability. You guys sold it out. We received a bunch of messages and DMs asking for a restock. The Wizarding Trunk contacted all the manufacturers and different artists to see if it was possible to restock. It was, so we were able to do a limited restock. But as you've probably heard me say, once that restock is gone, it's gone. We can't go back and have more items made. If you don't know about the Keep Collecting Box, check the description down below. I have put a link to a video that will explain all of the details. It is time to open the high security vault. That did it. It unlocked the vault for us. Dun dun na na. The vault has been opened. All right, on the top here, we have a quill, a real feather quill. Witter Shins presents the autofill quill. We like heard about this once in the Harry Potter books, I think, where it's essentially like a, a cheating quill where it writes down the answers for you during tests and they are banned at Hogwarts and banned during the OWLs or your newts. I have said this in past videos before. I love when I see subscription box items that are like mentioned once or things that you just read over or they're blown past in the movies. I love seeing things like that come to life because it makes makes the wizarding world feel all the more real. This is the first time I am seeing a banned autofill quill. And it's a real quill too. The wizarding trunk has just been improving their items every single box. So this is a usable quill. This part here is metal. There's a decorative leaf attached to the front and this really beautiful feather that makes this feel like something that you would pull out of the wizarding world and not just something you could purchase at a stationary shop in the muggle world. I love the antique gold look. The leaf adds a nice little touch to this whole product. Use it wisely. That is a beautiful quill. Let's get rid of some of these schnigglies here. If you are new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome. We're happy to have you here. And if you are a Potter Collector community member, Welcome back. All right, what do we have here? The cheat sheet. We're gonna put the cheat sheet aside for a second. Okay, I just have to show you what's in this box. Look at all of those themed boxes. Ooh, extendable ears. <gasps> Eaves drop ears. Oh my gosh. The box says leave this ear around for hours of eavesdropping. Place it over your own ear to hear all of the conversations you missed. So this is like the Weasley's Extendable Ears product. But can we just take a moment to enjoy this beautifully designed box, this incredibly designed packaging. It's fantastic. The Wizarding Trunk has Oh my gosh. Okay, stop, close the box, close the box, I'm getting distracted. All right, <laughs> wait until you see what I just saw. The Wizarding Trunk has seriously improved their overall design and presentation of things. And as I've said in the past, these boxes are displayable. These add an incredible look to your display shelves. You can pair the boxes with the items themselves and it just gives the item and your display an additional oomph. All right, let's take a look at the eaves dropping ears. <laughs> This is so fun. So we have two ears, a right and a left, and it is on this cord. So you would put an ear up to your ear and then you'd be able to hear what people are talking about. The ear design looks fantastic. They look like ears. The cord matches the ears. It's flesh colored. And these would make fantastic display items on your shelves. Look at this. Look at how the box just improves the item overall. Just after two items, this box is already fantastic. All right, spoilers. I'm just gonna have to go for it. I have to go for it because I have to see it. Biting 
boomerang. Weasley's wizard wheezes sells a fanged frisbee, which is a frisbee with a bunch of fangs around it. So it's not something that you would want to catch. But here we have something else you don't want to catch, a biting boomerang. And this is a Wittershins patented biting boomerang. Now Wittershins is the wizarding trunks made up joke shop. And that's another thing that I love about what the Wizarding Trunk is doing. They are creating magical shops that we've never heard of, and they're creating products that would be sold there. So that's just one more thing, one more element that makes the Wizarding World come to life. On the back of the box, it says, Biting Boomerang is a game of chance. Catch it just right, or it might take a bite out of whatever it touches. Caution, a dragon hide glove is recommended to avoid injury while using this product. A dragon hide glove, how interesting. And once again, Check out the packaging. Fully themed, all around, beautifully designed. Even the flaps have Wittershins logos on them. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> That's awesome. When I first opened it up, I was a little disappointed because this is what I saw and I was like, oh, it has some little teeth on it. And then when I took it out, this is what I see. Look at those little eyes. It's like this little monster boomerang. And then again, if you catch it just right, it's gonna take a bite out of whatever it touches. So this is absolutely a game of chance. Some game I would not personally play, but what a fun item. I mean, the boomerang is a little small. This is not really supposed to be a boomerang. It's more of a decorative item, but I love the overall look look, the design, the color choices, the bright blue eyes of this monster. I'm glad that they're not red because that would make it more like ominous and like an evil monster ready to bite your hands. It makes it look really fun and I love the colors blue and lime green together. The red on the end adds a nice little touch. The teeth design is very cool. The top of the boomerang with the scales, I mean really cool, fun, creative item. So the previous Wizarding Trunk unboxing I did was their Villains and Dark Artifacts box, which took my number one spot as favorite box. That box might be in trouble. This may take my number one spot. We will continue opening and determine at the end of the video. All right, we have a brown box here. This usually means potion. I love potion, especially the Wizarding Trunks potions. They are stunning. They're made beautifully, always creative. And this is Metamorph Mixture to aid transforming from human into animal. So this is referring to the marauders, I'm guessing, as they are able to each transform into a different animal. There is a metal charm here that is half human, half dog. It looks like this is a nod to Sirius Black to me. The top is sealed with gold wax with twine around the neck of the bottle. A very nice, simple, yet still very ornate and detailed label was created for this bottle. And it was bottled by Pure Blood apothecary. Look at that swirly potion within. I may have to start working on becoming an animagus and the metamorph mixture will really help. There's another box here. I'm going to leave that for a second. I'm actually going to put some schnigglies on it so that I don't get distracted and don't get spoiled. All right, we have poltergeist repellent. What is this? This is an all natural poltergeist repellent that can be used around school to keep the resident poltergeist away from you. It also works great at repelling pesky bugs and insects. Oh, it's a bug spray. This bug repellent contains essential oils of clove, cinnamon, peppermint, and organic purified water and organic witch hazel. Woo, that smells good. It smells very good. This could be used as a room spray. This very much reminds me of fall and it has some really good ingredients in it. Now, I don't usually like bath products in subscription boxes, but this is something that I will definitely use. All right, we have a pin and the pin is, oh my gosh, she's juggling bowling pins too. I think you guys know who I'm talking about. Who is like always made fun of at the Weasley's joke shop. It spins. Dolores Jane Umbridge in joke form. Look at her face. She looks just like a toad. She's described as a toad and here, she looks like a toad. But look at the wheel she's on. You can spin the wheel. Very funny pin, really well designed. The addition of the moving wheel is awesome and just adds to the overall quality of it. <laughs> I love that she's juggling pins. Oh, it's a pin. She's juggling pins and it is a pin. Clever. Ed and George would be very proud. All right, let's look at some paper products. There are quite a few paper products. We have a Wittershins Joke Shop catalog. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. Look at the inside of this. Oh, we probably shouldn't look at it yet because I'm assuming most of the products we haven't seen yet are gonna be listed here in this 
catalog. So let's put it back and let's open up the box I was saving. It is stink pellets. What a stench, stink pellets. All right, let's see, what does it say on the back? Wittershin stink pellets are perfect for pranking your friends or teachers. No one will suspect such a stench from such a highly colored ball. Interesting, but take a look at the box once again. Incredible detail all around. All right, let's see what stink pellets are all about. They're just round colored balls that are stink pellets. So again, just a made up fun joke shop item. So there are four colors, purple, red, yellow, and orange. And boy, do they stink. They don't actually smell. I feel like this would be an opportunity to do like bath bombs or something. I don't use bath bombs personally, but I think that would have been a good opportunity to use something that was practical and useful. But I'm also not complaining because I love the packaging, the design, the colored balls look really cool and they will add a nice pop of color to your joke shop shelf. All right, we have, so this is like a souvenir postcard that you could purchase at Wittershins and it says a toy for the mischief in you. And it just shows a bunch of Wittershins products on the postcard itself. A very fun, colorful print. And then on the back are some stamps. And it's something that you could actually use and send to someone. All right, there's a key. Oh my. The Wizarding Trunk has just upped their keys tenfold, in my opinion. We have the most haunted house in England. It's the Shrieking Shack. But not just the Shrieking Shack. The Shrieking Shack with a path leading up to it, a tree with roots, or these are just all roots. So essentially you're going underground in the secret tunnels to get to the Shrieking Shack. Look at the key teeth, extremely clever to use roots as the key teeth. This is phenomenal. By far my favorite key from the Wizarding Trunk. And then there's a little charm connected to the key ring with four paw prints on it. So we have a rat print, a stag print, a dog print, and a werewolf print. Excellent color choices on this key too. We have <gasps> Malvum Integrum, like the Marauder's Map. Wait, hold on. Any ideas for what we should call this mat? It's a prototype. It's an early version prototype of the Marauder's Map. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just double check. Names are being scrambled, needs work. Oh my gosh. This is an early version of the Marauder's Map. As the Marauders, James, Sirius, Lupin, and Peter were creating the Marauder's Map. And the original name, Malvum Integrum, on the front we have those paw prints, a picture of our home. Okay, what else can we find? So we have like the Great Tower on here, the third floor corridor, a suggestion from Peter Pettigrew, the Mischief Map as a possible name. Sirius says, I prefer we be known more as bandits or pirates rather than simple mischief makers. There are various names on the map. What a genius item. Whoever came up with this idea, you are so clever. Of course there would be a prototype of the Marauder's Map, but we don't think about that. So here it is. And those little notes are so fun. Okay, now we can look at the catalog. We have Daydream Potion, which is something that we've seen in a past Wizarding Trunk box. And I wonder if these are things that we're gonna see in the future. Poltergeist Dice, Eavesdropping Ears, which we saw in this box, the Biting Boomerang, of course, we already saw, Pixie Pack, Six ounces of live pixies, wow. Shrinking shortcake, inflating flan, so like confectionaries, like food that you can get. Stink pellets are listed in here. A seriously fantastic, well thought out, well executed box. Each box the Wizarding Trunk has been putting out sets a new level. They're just pulling out all the tricks and all the stops. They're redesigning keys and making them higher quality. They're doing twists on items that we know. Okay, let's take a look at the cheat sheet. On the front is the postcard that we saw. And on the back it says, The Wizarding Trunk Mischief Maker Special. Wittershins Store Catalog. This catalog contains some of our past items, items from this box, and items you may see in the future boxes. Designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Biting Boomerang. This product is one of our top sellers, but be sure to read the packaging very closely to ensure safe use. This item was designed in-house, and it is a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Metamorph Mixture. This potion is used to aid in transforming from human to animal form. This transformation is very difficult and can be dangerous. What animal form would you take when you complete this transformation? Designed by Wizardry Workshop and bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Okay, Potter Collector community, leave a comment down below and let me know what animal you would transform into. For me, I would love to be able to fly, and my favorite animal is a bald eagle, so bald eagle for me. Autofill Quill. 
This quill has been spelled to finish words for the writer and remember your most commonly used words and phrases. Unfortunately, it is not spelled with auto answers or spell check like other quills on the market. Okay, so this is something that you could use. It is not the illegal auto answer quill. Eaves drop ears. Leave these ears lying around for hours of eavesdropping. Place them over your own ear to replay all the conversations you may have missed. These have been spelled so the non-magical humans cannot hear the recorded conversations. Okay, so a little different from extendable ears and actually more useful because you can just leave them laying around and then listen to it later. Stink pellets. These are a quick and easy way to clear a room and no one will suspect such a stench coming from a brightly colored pellet. We spelled these to not smell so that they don't accidentally go off. Poltergeist repellent. This all natural poltergeist repellent works great on poltergeists and even better on bugs and insects. Created for us by Alchemy for the Skin. Magical map prototype. This is a prototype of a magical map be careful when using it, not all of the bugs are worked out. Created for us by Wizardry Workshop. Vintage Joke Shop Postcard. This Vintage Joke Shop Postcard was designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Shack Key. This key was used by mischief makers to get into the creepiest shack. This key was designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Juggling Witch Pin. This pin was designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. And on the bottom it says, our custom product boxes in this box were created for us by Wizardry Workshop. If you did not know, Danny at Wizardry Workshop is working exclusively with the Wizarding Trunk, which I think is awesome. And for those of you who have purchased the Keep Collecting box, you will see some items designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. It's time for favorites and least favorites. This is going to be extremely difficult, like extremely difficult. I don't know if I actually have like a number one favorite item. So I love the catalog. I love how this makes me feel like I'm part of the Wizarding world. Love the design of the Biting Boomerang. The ears are awesome too. And when I'm talking about these items, like the ears and the Biting Boomerang, I'm talking about the box too. So that's kind of all one item in my opinion. The pin with Umbridge juggling pins is so funny and so clever. This key, beautiful key. Y'all know I love potions, so I love this. Out of all the items, my least favorites are the poltergeist repellent, and I think maybe like the stink pellets, but I really like the design of the box. It's really just like the fact that you can't use the pellets. I don't know, but that's not, see, it's hard. It's hard because you can't knock an item that's meant to be a display item and say like, oh, I wish it was a practical item. You know what I mean? The quill, I love the design of the quill. I can't pick a favorite, so you guys are gonna have to tell me what your favorites are and why. And if you can't pick a least favorite either, I mean, I can totally relate to that. I loved this box and I think that this has taken my number one spot. If not my number one spot, it is now tied in my number one spot with the Villains and Dark Artifacts box, which is also kind of tied with the Divination box. There have been so many good boxes. Like I'm looking at a Divination item right there. It's the blue teacup. Incredible. If you would like to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk, either their bi-monthly subscription service or their quarterly special edition subscription box like this one here, check the description down below for a link as well as a coupon code to save you 10%, which is Keep Collecting 10. Also, don't forget there are still some Keep Collecting boxes available. Once those are sold out, they are sold out. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, mischief managed. And keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?